Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. So we pray as we celebrate this Mass this morning. Let us once again recall to mind our sins. Let us be sorry for them and ask for the pardon of the Spirit. You were sent to heal the contract, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Your mighty God have mercy on us, we forgive us our sins to bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, Grant we pray that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion will grow deeper and our faith will be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Act of the Apostle. In those days, Agrippa, the king of Venus, arrived at Caesarea to welcome Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a man left prisoner by Felix. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews gave information about him asking for sentence against me. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused meant the accuser face to face and had a heart of all he
According to John. When Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and they had finished breakfast, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly I, truly I say to you, when you were young, you fastened your own belt and walked where you would. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will fasten your bed for you and carry you where you do not wish to go. This is said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify God. And after this, he said to him, follow me. Gospel Matthew, when I born in John, I said, I go now. Ege, ni Jesu, kire zegbe, dagba, ni nende, dibu, nusu, ayo, mi, efo, Either I lay it by way where for other Tamai Peter, Simon Peter, other that the other only Simon, Amo Panos John, where we are in the Kelly now, other one only, he here be a willing man where we are, the other Tamale, Ray by me, oh one is a man. Also, Baziva, other Gutaman, Simon, Omo Panos, John, whoever woman, other Tamale, a he, a biane, whoever you can make, whoever more, other Tamale, Belugu, oh, no, seven. Other Gutamas, Basia, Simon, Omo Panos, John, whoever woman, a giant, I would not speak to that have you. Ramo de or no one else was here. So where were we? You know that tally. A piano, whenever they were, whenever they were, even where we were. They just that a man. Read by no one who knows him. A semata, a semata, a metama. Every way they are here, we are rubber, umba, who can't carry the way, nega, a divine, one of all. Pacino, where I keep down my, where I near born near, or I will keep a little Pacuno said by. Aki Muir, ACG, Wahoy. Wona, other ma, oh no, 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 Glory to Jesus. Today we are reading from St. John's Gospel, chapter 21. So there is a big leap from what we have been reading the past few days. Those were before Jesus' uh, crucifixion, and even the high priestly prayer was before his crucifixion. Today we 
have gone to after his resurrection when he was appearing to the disciples. This was the appearance by the Sea of Tiberias. Remember when Peter said to his, his fellow verses of them, you know, Thomas and Tane and the sons of Zebedee, and he told them, I'm going fishing, fishing, and they said to him, Let we'll come with you. And then they, they walked all night and didn't catch anything. But Jesus appeared. That was by the Sea of Tiberias. And asked them, Do you have have you caught anything? They said no. And he asked them to, you know, throw the net on the starboard on the right side, and they did, and they caught a huge fish. And then they identified that it was Jesus and Peter who was practically naked had to run to him and all that. So it took place at that time, after which he called them to have breakfast, come have breakfast. This story or uh, gospel passage we are having today is right after the breakfast and he called Peter aside and was asking him. He, he asked him three times if he loved him. You know, you see the way the questions were put to Peter. The very first one was definitely different from other questions because it has another an additive to it. It says, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? You know, there are two possible uh, explanations to this or understanding to this particular question. The first one, you know, is by, by those who analyze the gospel, first says that when it says, do you love me more than this, was saying, do you love me more than these other ones love me? Is the love that you have for me greater than the one that these ones have for me? That's the first possible explanation. The second one was, do you love me more than you love these people? More than you love these things you are doing, like fishing, like coming back? Do you love so that's a, a possible explanation. But whatever explanation you have, it was asked Peter for love, asking him, how much do you love me? Do you still love me? And Peter responded by saying, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Now again, he asked, then he gave him that responsibility of feed my sheep, feed my lambs, tend my sheep. He asked the second time and the third time. All three questions were about love. If Peter did love him, and he said, yes, you know, I love you. And then he says, very, very importantly, Lord, you know everything. You know everything. So even if I'm lying, you know that I truly love you. And of course, you know, we see this, uh, Jesus asking Peter, it was like Peter calling Peter again. In fact, he called him the name, that Peter's original name, you know, when he called him before. Uh, he says, Simon, son of John. That's what he called him. He was calling him again. And after the entire piece, he said to him, follow me. He was calling him to follow him. So, Calling Peter again after, remember Peter was the one who denied him three times. So he called him three times. If you like, you know, again, to cancel those deniers of Peter. But Jesus truly loved Peter and he was not giving that responsibility of becoming the, the shepherd, the head of the apostles. Now we are told that, you know, this cause, called out of Peter, Courage, the courage to come to follow the Lord, and then his faith, the Lord, and, and then leadership give him opportunity to be a leader. You is confirming his leadership role and position. When he said to him, I directly feed my sheep, tend my lambs, feed my lambs. He was giving the, he, 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 that wonderful privilege and confirming the authority he has given to Peter. And then he said to him, you know, when you were a child, you, when you were young, you know, you used to put on your bed and walk whatever you, you like. And now, if you are old, then people will take you around. But I told by this, he explained to Peter, he indicated the kind of death that was going to die. If you remember in John chapter 15, verse 13, Jesus has said, Greater love has no man than this, than to lay down his life for his friends. So if you truly say, if you truly say you love Jesus, you have that love for him, you should be ready to lay your life down for Jesus. And other disciples are his friends. So by this, for St. Peter, you too will die for the gospel. And that's the explanation we have for that particular test. But one important thing about the entire episode is that Jesus came, called Peter. He knew that Peter loved him, but he had to assure Peter that he still, he still trusts him. And then when Peter confessed his love for Jesus, Jesus then gave him the responsibility 
of sheep by doing his flock. He confessed. He proclaimed the good thing. So that is very important in our lives as Christians. That's why, even for you about child, like I was trying to teach yesterday during the novena to the Holy Spirit, we must make a response to the call of God. You know, we must make a response before you can receive the Holy Spirit. You can receive baptism. You must make a response. So you'll be taught, and then you get to know what you want to receive, and then, of course, you'll be asked, do you reject Satan and all his works? Do you believe in God? The Father Almighty. You must say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. You must make a response, an official response. Peter said, yes, I do. You must say, yes, I do, because you can, before you can receive baptism or uh, any of the sacraments, before you can receive confirmation, before you can come over, you must make a response. You must say, yes, I do. I do. It must come from you. Even though God knows already that no, Jesus knew already that Peter loved him. He still asked him, Do you love me? So the I do that we say every time is not just for saying it's sake. It indicates, shows, and confirms our desire to receive the sacrament. Even when you're going to matrimony, you not know, marry, would you take this to be your love wedded wife? Or do, yes, I do. Take me very well. It must come from you. We all know that you love one another. We know that the man and the wife, the, the, the couple, they love themselves. But they must express it publicly, officially, before everyone. An indication of the confirmation and of the fact that that is real. So Peter today made, did that I do before Jesus. Before he was not entrusted with that great responsibility. Before a priest or dead is invited and asked, do you promise obedience? Do you promise? He says, yes, I do, I do. Before he's given the responsibility, before he's ordained, before he's mandated to represent Christ. Jesus did it to Peter today. Each and every one of us must make a response to the invitation of the Holy Spirit. We are waiting for to well, in two days' time we have Pentecost. All the prayers we have been saying, our novena and everything, their teachings, their lessons, preparations, prayer. We are waiting. we must ask the Spirit to come. That's why we sing the song. We must pray the song. All the songs. Come, Holy Ghost, Spirit. We are making the response come. It must come from us. Come, 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 Holy Ghost, come. No matter how you sing it, we are making the response. We are the ones asking. We are the ones, we are ready to receive the Holy Spirit. You cannot just sit down and come and force yourself on you. No. He can't come on you and force himself. You have to ask for it. Ask for the gift of the Spirit. Ask for wisdom, knowledge, all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And be, be ready to produce the fruit of the Spirit. If you remember when you go, hey, we are now, Gospel Matthew, Mother Revy, Ebenezer John, Opanya Uje, Masui, El Makati Derere, El Makati Derere, Eni, Ebe Mati, Odai, Ebeno Sunu, Okese, Akan Christu Mora, Amen. <laughs>
Good Father, we ask your mighty God to bless him for all our sponsors and all those who are good to us. We ask your mighty God to bless them. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers, especially those who pray in person at the Tisha Book. We beg your mighty God to grant them their hearts and desires. We pray for all our parishioners. We beg your mighty God to protect them from all hearts and dangers. We pray, O oh Lord. Our enemies we pray you grant them the heart of repentance. Father, we repeat, begging your mercy to forgive their sins and grant them into marriage. We pray for our project, we beg you to bless our project. And for our country, Nigeria, may she enjoy the peace we are willing to see. We pray against coronavirus ravaging the world, we beg you Lord Jesus to heal our land, heal the infected, protect the uninfected, grant eternal rest to all of mankind. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray with Mary, Mother of Jesus, as you say, Hail Mary, full of grace. Silence will not add any to your needs.
not acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Lord be with you. And with the Lord be Lord our God. It is truly that I just and good and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. But after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, and might make us share us in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with past joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly parts with angelic hosts sing together the name of the glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 We are 
My dear friends, we recall that when we first started this enlightenment program, some persons asked about other persons who live in our community, in Urumi, who are not Asian, who are not Asian people, who do not speak our language, but who, are, who live here in numbers. And we promised that we will try as much as possible well to reach out to them also. So we have decided that in the course of the next few sessions, we shall mingle them with uh, persons who are not uh, 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 some people, but who live here with us and they live in numbers. So we decided to discuss with the communities. We have this evening, we shall have the Benue community. They, we have a good number of them here living with us who are doing all kinds of jobs. So we we'll have them with us this evening to also spread the news, the enlightenment to them so that they too will know how to be careful and not uh, uh, allow the disease into their community or spread disease among the members of their community. Even when the people in the pool, I give my name on him in a hair was so that I know a guinea and my own summer, it will be some man I will know. I want to keep you every Sunday, yes, a man I will hear. But I make a guy said, my dear, and he never did tell. A janan yam, my cat, my kid, and he never will need yet. A mona, my dinner will need Ben with by my name will be one of them. And then they saw so what I way in the Mukalwe when away. Maka my bad and Yagi, or Nimina, Erubo, Rekai, Nami, or why a guy where we were going to say. But my car work, I was going to be him, you know. Never want to get what the power was about at the Boba Fergie. 